my name's Kieran, I am the Principal Osteopath at Just One Body. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you for a few moments and show you a hip flexor stretch. So you have two main hip flexors in, in the front of your pelvis here, one called iliacus that goes from the kind of cup shape on the inside of the pelvis down to the top of the femur. And you have another one that goes from five of the lower vertebrae of the spine, skips the pelvis and goes straight down into a similar sort of place again on top of the femur. Uh, the, both the muscles do this movement and also they can do a little bit of flexion too. Um, another, the top one around in the middle actually lifts up the hip and side bends and these lifts the torso over as well. So it's involved in quite a few movements. I tend to find that people who sit down on the desk or doing a lot of football or running or so, these muscles can actually they can get quite strong if you're active, but they also get very tight. Um, so when you go from a sitting position all day to standing up, suddenly they're pulling on your back and moving you back in the, to, into positions and uh, the function and the mechanics of the back isn't working particularly well. So I just wanted to show you a very simple stretch for this. So having your feet forward and backwards apart a reasonable distance like so, uh, if you notice the back knee is bent and the heel is off the floor, okay? And from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pelvis and we're gonna tuck it underneath ourselves this way, okay? Don't get confused with trying to do it like so, and letting your chest move. If you do this, you're gonna, you're gonna squash some of the joints in the back as you're doing this, especially if you've got back pain, it's not particularly useful, okay? So what I want you to do is just tuck the pelvis underneath you, and you're gonna move forwards, not downwards. So you're gonna move like so, and what you're gonna feel is a stretch around the front and the inside of the thigh here, okay? Hold that position for 15 seconds, re-tuck, push again a little bit further to increase the stretch, and hold that for another 15 seconds. If you're still not feeling a really strong stretch, try to re-tuck. If not, you can lift your arm up, like so, in front of you, and that will help with a chain of other tissues that go from the out front of the hip up through the torso, and that may be able to actually add what we call another lever to the stretch. Again, hold it there for 15 seconds, and then come away. Stretching for me, it's about little and often, so not 30 or 40 minutes of stretching in the day, because mainly we haven't got time for that. I'm a big fan of little and often. So three or four times a day for about 30 seconds to a minute on each side, when you're making a cup of tea, when you're going to take that break, you do it at work every day. The morning and the evening are the easiest ones to do. It's the one or two in the middle that people struggle, but you can fit them in, okay? If you do have any questions, always feel free to message us. Uh, I'll find us on justforbody.com. Our contact form or visit our Facebook page. I hope to see you soon.